welcome guys this is piece of zone channel and this is a video guide on how you can remove or bypass your google account block or app happy from your samsung galaxy a3 2017 this video will guide you uh, to remove FRP on these two models of A3 2017 on SM A320F and SM A320 FL and that's on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow so don't try to do this on Android Nougat you will break your device else so let's see before we start you need to download some small tools and files to remove your FRP on your selected models so you'll need to download Odin Samsung official flash tool download this download the FRP tool and then download the ADV or input file for your device download the appropriate file according to your device so here I have all the files I've got the all the files here you can see this one's for A320FL this one's for A320F these two are input files for these two models this is the frp tool which we will use to remove the frp and then this is the odin the samsung flashing tool now <coughs> after downloading you will need to follow these two steps i have um, i have divided this tutorial into three steps just to make it a little more easier so first step is to enable your usb debugging mode by flashing the input file using odin on your device and then second step is to remove FRP using this tool I'll show you so let's get started okay now first of all uh, first of all uh, put your device uh, power off your device and then push your device into download mode by pressing uh, volume down plus home plus power button at the same time for some seconds okay I'm doing it now put your device into download mode by pressing um, volume down plus home button plus power on button at the same time for some seconds after doing that uh, a warning screen will be so shown up on your device um, just click on volume up button to continue to download mode just do it okay after that you can see downloading do not turn off your target something like that text on your screen now connect your device into with a USB cable with your PC to your PC okay now you can see setting up device I have just connected do not move your device keep it stable okay now so run the Odin wait for some time again now unplug and plugging it again device The device doesn't show up on Odin. You might need to install Samsung driver, USB driver. For that, uh, check out the download link. <coughs> All of the links, file links, are in the description of this video. Uh, here are the driver. I will just install it. Next, 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 install. Just wait. Unplug your device for some time till it gets installed. I'm unplugging my device. Okay, now just wait. Okay, now it's done. Now I'll just finish it. Go to Odin, connect your device again with USB cable. Now it should show up here on Odin. Okay, now you can see I've got my device here on COM3. Again, removed and then I did. Okay, now we'll need to select the file <coughs> or uh, select the file which you downloaded. The input file, download according to your model, and then select it on. AP button here from here. AP button, go to desktop, new folder. Here, select 
if you have a320f this one or this one just download one of it one of them which you need select it after selecting just press start and then your flash will be completed saying here giving your green sign and saying pass after that your adb or usb debugging mode on your device will be enabled now all you have to do is follow the second step for that download this tool and install it next 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 just next next installation completed finished now you can see the shortcut here of this FRP tool just run it now power on your device power on your device if you if your device is already not powered on I'm powering, I'm powering on my device just wait some time when your device gets powered on and ask for your Google account logins just leave it at that step and again connect your device with your USB cable to PC and then go to this tool you can toggle the lock from here for more info I will do this okay, now go to devices tab and then click on scan wait for some time <coughs> your device will get detected if it's asked for authorization just uh, allow it just waiting again scan okay now you can see the device is offline do not move your cable okay now okay now my device is online here now you need to do is go to FRP tab and then select method 1 which is selected by default you can you shouldn't select method 2 this is not for these models not for this android version just select method 1 and click on remove FRP after some time uh, after some seconds your device will reboot and the uh, FRP will be gone instantly you can read the log for more, more info here wait for some time or okay. FRP removed on It. you can see if have been done and we will watch it your device now when you <coughs> when your device gets power run your google account will be gone instantly if not just click on next next you will get your get to your home screen and you will not to uh, need to enter your google account and that's it hope you guys uh, got it right and hope you guys have solved your problems just hit a like and leave a comment if you face any issues uh, thanks for watching have a good day